the octet on the pew. Suddha Takasutta. I see the pure, the supreme health. A person achieves full purity through what he sees. Directly knowing thus, having known it is supreme, I contemplate the pure, one falls back on knowledge. If a person gains purity by the seeing, or if one abandons suffering by knowledge, then one with acquisitions is purified by another. The view proclaims him as one who asserts thus. A Brahmin does not speak of purity by another, by the seen and the heard, by good behavior and observances, by the sensed, untainted by merit and by evil, he has discarded what was taken up without creating anything here. Having abandoned the former attached to another, carried along by impasse, they do not cross the tie. They grab hold and let go like a monkey, grasping and letting go of a branch. Having undertaken observances by himself, a person goes up and down, attached to perception. But having realized the Dhamma with knowledge, the wise one, broad in wisdom, does not go up and down. One who is remote from all phenomena, from whatever is seen, heard and sensed. How could anyone here in the world categorize him, that seer behaving openly? They do not construct, they have no preferences. They do not assert, this is ultimate purity. Having loosened the knot of grasping that had been tied, they do not form desires for anything in the world. For a Brahmin who has transcended the boundary, who has known and seen, nothing is tightly grasped. Not excited by lust or attached to dispassion, he does not grasp anything here as supreme.